Hey, it's like I mean ministries, private and personal chef services are we're praying with you. Delivering kingdom business, what's the what, 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 period, in Christ Jesus' name. Yes, we have reached year three in being victorious with Christ Jesus. And this year we are diving into Romans 8. We will be having live videos of me doing the run and us praying we have to have to keep praying in all that we do that's the only way we get to access christ jesus and all the things that he has for us here on earth remember that we are running a mile a day to keep the enemy at bay amen a mile a day to keep the enemy at bay and I pray that this year blesses you. And this year we are wearing our armor and we are remembering Ephesians 6, 10 through 20. Ephesians 6, 10 to 20 as we continue to remember Romans 8. And Romans 8, we'll be praying that into our lives as we continue to give God glory for all that he's done and all that he's going to continue to do. Amen. Now, you guys be great and enjoy these prayers. These prayers are for you to build your prayer life with Christ. And they are blessing me too. Um, I ask God to fill me up so that I can overflow into all that he's called me to be. I am not perfect, but through Christ who strengthened us, that's where my strength comes from. I pray that your strength comes from there as well. Wear the full armor and live in the spirit in just one moment we will be praying romans 8 into our lives i don't know what chapter it is for for whatever day it is but for now we will be reading romans 8 Romans 8 tells us life in the spirit how are we to conduct ourselves living in the spirit the holy spirit amen and that's what we aim to do here on this platform we serve the father and no one else on this platform we serve christ and no one else on this platform we serve the holy spirit and no one else now come on in and tap in into being victorious with Christ Jesus. You have no other victory if you don't have Christ Jesus. So that's why we claim victory in Christ Jesus. That's why we keep being victorious with Christ Jesus. Here on this platform, who do we serve? Father, Son, Holy Spirit, and no one else. Please stay tuned for the videos. Our TikTok, we have a prayer every um, for the whole year in the book for Power of Prayer. And you guys can um, tap into that too. You guys can tap into, you know, my Facebook and Instagram and also my YouTube channel. So now you guys be great. And as we continue to celebrate and commemorate God for all that he's done for us and all that he's going to continue to do for us, we will dwell in these readings and prayers. Now, you keep bringing great, like Eileen Ministries, private and personal chef services, and we're praying with you, delivering kingdom business, what's the what, 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 period, in Christ Jesus' name, and know you are loved, and you can be taught the word of God, and you can understand the word of God, as long as you put the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit in the mix, you will not fail. So, may God's grace cover you. May God's wisdom cover you. May God's strength cover you. May God's word cover you. May God's strength cover you when you are weak. So you will know that the only true strength comes from the Most High. Now, let's get into prayer. Romans 8. Let's be great. Romans 8, 6. Romans 8, 6. And it reads... If your thinking is controlled by your sinful self, there is spiritual death. But if your thinking is controlled by the Spirit, there is life and peace. We're going to read it again. If your thinking is controlled by your sinful self, there is spiritual death. But if your thinking is controlled by the Spirit, there is life and peace. Oh, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, ooh, let us read your, the Lord's Prayer first seven times. 
Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Ha! from the evil one our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever never ha huh? Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Ha! Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation. <coughs> But deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Heavenly Father, we come before you with Romans 8, 6. If our thinking is controlled by our sinful self, there is spiritual death. But if your thinking is controlled by the spirit, there is life and peace. If my thinking is controlled by depression, there is spiritual death. But there is... But if our thinking is controlled by the Holy Spirit, there is life and peace. If my thinking is controlled by anxiety, huh, by anxiety, there is spiritual death. But if our thinking is controlled by the Spirit, there is life and peace. If our thinking is controlled by lust, there is spiritual death. But if our thinking is controlled by the Spirit, there is life and what? peace if our thinking is controlled by adultery there is spiritual death but if our thinking is controlled by the holy spirit there is life and peace so heavenly father we come before you asking for life and peace because we found out that through jesus christ we have been saved and now we don't walk in spiritual death but we walk in life and peace so father god let the prince of peace continue to give the life that he has given us for this for such a time as this <clears throat> heavenly father we don't come before you in no other name but the name of jesus christ for heavenly father we don't come before you with no other name but the name of Jesus Christ. So Jesus Christ, have your way, Heavenly Father. Have your way, Heavenly Father. Have your way, Heavenly Father, as you continue to let us walk in life and peace. As we continue to read Romans 8 so that we can be great. Father God, please let us continue to walk in life and peace. Let out of our bellies flow life and peace. Let out of our bellies flow living water. That living water comes with the fruit of the Spirit. So let the fruit of the Spirit continue to be, give us life and peace in this day and age, Father God. Thank you that you are mighty and glorious in all of your ways. There is none like you. There is none like you. There is none like you, Father God. There is no one like you that could send your son down to die for people that continues to sin day in, day out. Continue to seek spiritual death day in, day out. So, Father God, give us the chance to recognize the things we need to recognize in order for us to recognize what is given us spiritual death in this life father God so we can walk in life in peace as you have called us to be as it says it here in your word it says it here in your word father God I'm not speaking to you about something you don't know you already know what gives us life and peace and that's the blood of Jesus and you said there is no condemnation for those who believe in Christ Jesus so father God I believe I believe in the blood of the lamb we believe in the blood of the lamb we believe that the blood of the lamb will do what the blood of the lamb gonna always do and that's reign and that's be king of kings and that's be lord of lords father God we don't come to you as poor in the spirit we're not poor in the spirit because what we said that brings it brings spiritual death so father god please continue to give us a life and peace in this lifetime heavenly father we don't want to do this walk without you because we know with each step we take without you it's spiritual death but with each step with you father god you give us life and peace so, Father God, thank you for establishing your words at the beginning of time. 
so that we could continue to use it to guide us and light this world up for us. Because, Father God, you said when you got here, it was chaos and destruction, and you commanded the light to reign. And the way, the truth, and the light is with you at your right hand, pleading on our behalf because, Father God, he knows we are sinners in needing of you. So, Father God, as he preached his kingdom, put your kingdom, Father God, as he said, let your kingdom come, let your will be done on his life, we pray the same. Yes, it's going to come with some crushing and bruising, but all that is to make us humble before you. So we won't think we're greater than thou, but we know that we are sinners in need of grace and mercy that follow us each and every day of our lives. Father God, we don't come to you as people who don't know we come to you as your children your children and knowing that the grace and mercy that follow us all the days of our lives is for a reason it's for a reason each of us have our own stories each of us have our own paths that we took in this life before we came to know you so father god thank you for grace and mercy thank you for your joy thank you for your love thank you for your peace thank you for everything that you come with because it says in you there is life and peace. So Father God, let our let our thinking not be controlled by our sinful selves. But let it be controlled by the Holy Spirit. Where there is life and peace. So life and peace in our finances. Life and peace in our ministries. Life and peace in our churches. Life and peace in, 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 in our husbands. In our wives. In our children. Life and peace everywhere we go. As we suit up with our armor, Father God. Life and peace everywhere we go. As we guard our hearts. Life and peace as we go. Where we walk our walk. Life and peace <clears throat> as we go. And talk our talk. Life and peace. When we touch the lives of the people you have commanded us to touch, the enemy has no hold on us. But you, you give life and peace. That spiritual death, it is gone. We breathe in, no life and peace in you. And we breathe out the spiritual death that comes with our sinful selves. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Ministries, private and personal we shop services, and we're praying with you. Deliver kingdom business, what to the world, what, what, period, in Christ Jesus' name. Thank you for praying with us, and remember, we are reading Romans 8 to be great. Amen. So, Lakalini Ministries, private and personal shop services, and we're praying with you. Deliver kingdom business, what to the world, what, what, period, in Christ Jesus' name. Romans 8, so we can be great. Let's pray it into our lives that no matter what, we will continue to live life in the Spirit, in the Holy Spirit, and out of our belly shall flow rivers of living water. Blessings.